go to file new and select here part now we are going to learn pipe routing so pipe routing all a kind of assembly so we have to perform in assembly section cancel it now pipe dimensions most always in inches so i'll going to choose ips routing parts just a normal parts with routing information routing part has a routing point which is stored all the information inside the part so click solid works add ins and here you will find solid works routing click once you click routing you will see few windows like electrical piping tubing user defined so we are going to learn piping route so if you see design library there is one option called routing just check inside you will find many things like piping double click piping and see so let's start with flange randomly we are going to create a model for pipe routing so just drag and drop and here you have to choose the size of your flange so i am going to choose 150 nps 6 6 inch pipe flange say okay would you like to save the assembly now say yes and save in your destination wherever i am going to say pipe assembly save now you will see a route property window pop ups now it has some informations like this is the sub assembly all the parts going to uh, line in sub assembly then pipe here you will see this size of pipe 6 inch schedule 40 even though you can change use weld gap this is universal phenomena which is change according to the condition bend elbow once you bend the 3d line it will convert into elbow so always keep use this always elbow elbow size you will click here you will select 45 degree 90 180 whatever you like but we will keep 90 degree 6 inch schedule 40 at the end automatically create fillet so just check mark so that you will see a fillet once you finish the feature say okay now look now click change unit if inches now right click on the line and here you will see edit route even though in sub assembly here if you drop down you will see component and pipe pipe will be stored in route parts and components like uh, elbow and flanges will stored in components so right click and edit route just drag now here you will see line option even in sketch also the same line option so in piping i'll choose the line once you select the line you will entered in 3d sketch environment see xy plane so i'm going to click this you will see x y direction let's drag here here and press tab key to change the plane if you see blue da dash line means r sketch lies on the plane on the line click here again i am going to put tab key on keyboard and change the direction skip now let's define the sketch so that it is for us 50 36 let's say 100 let's say 100 okay now if i want to add some more thing here let's say i am going to delete this elbow let's add line out now go to piping and here you will find t section t's 
straight these inches drag and keep this point and you will see it took the shape leave 6 inch for the schedule say ok now look if you want to add here just press tab key and put here now cancel now just hold shift key this point and this point merge see it is automatically convert into arc if you want to define the dimensions for this even though you can define let's say 35 okay now let's add some more thing here you have we have here walls now gate wall gate wall just drag and see it is aligned with the geometry so press tab key okay do you want to shorten the length of nipple no Now place something here, no, cancel, now click on this part and delete, ok just look, now right click and edit routing because once you refresh you will be maybe you will out of this. smart dimension let's apply dimension for this let's say 30 that's fine now let's apply some more t here see okay it's going upside now press tab key and change the direction cancel now let's apply some more dimension to this from here to here it's 30 and to this from here to here 45 okay now let's apply spools spools it is normally divide the geometry so we have to apply flanges now drag and press here say ok select here cancel now here applied now let's apply some more spools ok cancel now here applied let's say what else geometry we need to apply let's apply here also say ok just drag near top of the part ok now similarly and let's apply similarly to this part move your point see this is the center point say ok escape key to out so here fixed now so we also fix these pools also say now exit now if you right click and define a spool the first is blue color first this line these are the spools spool 1 say ok spool 2 let's 
choose those lines which you want to make comes under what okay these are the things which is going to be and this line okay right click defined spool and the third spool is just beyond this line okay now if you check here you will find see is spool 1 this is spool 1 this is spool 2 this is spool 3 now simply exit and just uh, click hide the line and if you check all the components these are all the components in routing you will see 3d sketch and in uh, all the pipes are in route parts so this is the simple tutorial don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching